Hey guys, today we're going to learn how you can digitalize your signature using Affinity Photo. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. I focus on affordable creative software. All right, so here I am in Affinity Photo. That's a, just a snapshot, a picture photo from my phone. As you can see, it's far from perfect. It's quite dark, the lighting is off, we got some shadows and the paper is not really white. So first I will crop my signature and this is also a good opportunity to rotate this a little bit if you wanna straighten it up. All right, and let's click apply. Now we got much smaller image and we can focus on the signature itself. The lighting is far from perfect, so let's start with some adjustments. Maybe I will use curve adjustment to bump up the contrast between the backdrop and the signature itself. So let's open that. It should pop up this little histogram. It will be very similar in your case because we both got a dark signature and a kind of white background. So let's move the one on the right to the center like this, but not too far. We actually want to burn the backdrop. Normally with no more picture, no more photo, we will never ever burn the backdrop to be completely white like this. But in this case, that's actually what we want, right? So just on the edge of burning backdrop will be all right, not too far. And then on the left side, we're moving this to the center as well to make letters darker, but not too dark. We don't want the noise to pop up, all right? So must be something like this, and then we can match down this adjustment into the original layer. As you can see, now we got much, much better contrast and the backdrop is almost white. That will make our work much, much easier moving forward. So the next thing will be to select this white backdrop. So I go to select panel over here and we don't need to do it manually. We can select a color range. So there are a few options for selecting ranges here but we will just select a color here. Click on the white area and then adjust this slider here to change the tolerance until you can see that the noise is redacted. So only the, everything is selected like a smooth surface without any noise. All right, so in my case, it's around 50%. Apply. And now I have selected all the white color but I need to select the signature itself. So let's invert this selection. So selection, and you can invert selection from here. Nice, now the signature is selected. So if I switch off the visibility of this layer, I can still see that signature is selected even without the original image. That's a perfect chance for us to fill in this selection without any image layer. So we cre will create a new blank layer and fill this selection with a new color. So we can use the bucket tool and probably some dark blue color like in the pen, then create a layer and fill it in. And using that selection from the picture we took, we create a signature on the blank layer without any backdrop. So when you export that, you will see only signature. In my case, the paper was kind of texturized and I didn't do a perfect job when adjusting the contrast. So I can still see a little bit of noise. If you got similar problem, don't worry. You don't need to start the process from scratch. You can just draw a rectangle so we can put some bright color like this green one and place it behind the signature. This way we can easily detect the noise. As you can see, I got a little bit of noise around, so I will use a simple eraser tool. So I will pick eraser tool from the tool panel, and then I will use very soft eraser. So keep the hardness around zero, maybe 10, 15, something like that. And use this very soft eraser tool to reduce the noise, but be careful, don't erase any letter, okay? So don't do it in one swing. Click, erase a bit, release, click, erase a bit, release. So in case you make a mistake, you don't need to undo the whole process. Like I just did, you see? And I undo and keep erasing this noise. Actually, you cannot really see it when you put the signature in the document. 
you will never ever see this little noise but just to give it this finishing touch we can play with erase the tool a little bit erase this noise here and if you got better paper you probably <laughs> will not face this problem all right so we erase the noise we move our signature into a new layer we fill this with a new color but what if you need a different color later for example you need your signature to be in the red color do you need to start the whole process over not really we can use adjustment again to recolor this signature so you can actually save it in several colors straight away if you feel you will need it later all right so my noise is gone so i can delete the green layer i delete the original image as well i got my signature here without any backdrop so let's play with the adjustment here to make a different color version so if you apply this adjustment to change hue or saturation of the layer you can simply bump up the saturation and you can change the hue of the color easily so you can move to red violet back to blue or you can reduce the saturation completely if you want to go for a gray or black signature so that's also not a problem if you reduce the second slider saturation you got the black one you can reduce the color and you got the black signature but I kind of like to like to save the signature as a dark blue. It's look more realistic. All right. So that's my signature. And the last step is to simply export that as a PNG. Why PNG? Because PNG can export a transparent backdrop. So whatever you drag and drop this into document, they will be without any backdrop, just signature. So it's much easier to blend this with any other document. All right, guys, I hope today's tutorial was helpful. It's more like an office stuff, <laughs> exporting signature than a graphic design today, but the, those little things and tips are really important for many. So thank you for watching, and I hope you will decide to subscribe for more tutorials like this. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.